Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of just how I make my spod mix from scratch. And it's got loads of little different bits and pieces in it and I've caught lots of countless big fish all across the UK, lots of 40s, lots of 30s on variations of this mix. And I always usually prepare my own particle unless I'm running short on time then I pick up jars. But at least if you prepare it yourself then you know what's in it and you get to play about with it a few additives later on. But uh, we'll get to that part anyway when it comes to the cooking process. But for now, what I've got is three buckets here. And I've got 12 of these, what I call cups, say cups of water in each bucket. And I always usually do 12 because it's a good size for my cooking pot, which I'll be cooking on my barbecue here. If you're wondering why I'm cooking at, you know, where all the baits prepped, all the boilies are rolled and stuff like that. Well, just because this is my own little thing, I like to keep it separate. And I like to keep tending on the particle and adding little bits and pieces just to make it a bit more fishy and attractive along the way. So I don't go any more than 12 cups, even though I'm a bit of an avid carper, I am going to start fishing hard over the next few months, so I'm doing enough for a few sessions, a good few sessions, but you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to do too much, you don't want to be wasting stuff and letting it ferment and go off too much in this weather. A bit of fermentation is okay this time of year, but we are in peak summer, so things do go off, do you know what I mean? But uh, So let me give you a rundown. So first of all, here, I've got a bit of wheat, I'm a big lover of wheat, so uh, I'll just fill my little cups up. There's actually uh, sunflower seeds in this one as well, in goes the wheat. I'll do three of these, remember this particle's going to swell a lot. Two. And you can get this from all your local little gardener stores and all that lot. Bit of bird seed, bit of weed, a bit of wheat and uh, sunflower seeds. And I will say this, on a lot of these videos you see YouTubers, you know I'm not saying you can't, they say just soak it for 24 hours. I'm a 48 hour man. Really let that particle, particle suck the goodness in and it, it just makes it more moist in the centre. You don't want it, you know, when you crack the particle and you can still, we've all made mistakes like and it's still dry in the centre. I want, I want the goodness to get right to the centre of the particle. So anyway, we've got three wheat and sunflower in this bucket. I'll get rid of this. And then in that goes, this is one of my favourites, buckwheat. So uh, this is a CC Moore bag. You can use any bag. I like CC Moore particles just because they're clean and uh, they're not very dusty. And it, to be fair, it's a high quality for the price that you get. So uh, the dip into this bag, so this is a bit bigger. This is going straight into the wheat bucket as well. So we've got free buckwheat in there. And this is awesome. So good for carp. They really start binging on it, especially on tricky waters where they don't see it too often. And uh, it's all about being different and just having the edges against that guy next door, isn't it? If you're fishing for big pressured carp like I do, 40s and 50s, you know, you want to be a bit different. And that's what it's about. So there's now six cups total in there into 12 cups of water and that's that bucket done and uh, we'll get to the cooking process when that's soaked and but for now we'll move on to the middle bucket so middle bucket is no stranger it's almost like a mixed particle here it's like uh, not a pigeon conditioner as such but this has got hemp in it you know like cracked maize various other seeds some oats a bit of everything in it so uh, this is the mixed seed bucket, so I put six of these in also. Pick this bag up. Two. Three. Try not to drop it everywhere. Four. Just put this bucket down. done. At least with self prep as well, you know what's in it, there's no preservatives or nothing and you've just got ultimate confidence in what you're doing. As long as you prep it and cook it right, you can really get all the, all the goodness out of the particle. And in the last bucket, which is, is a must for most of my fishing, it's, it's hemp. And again, it's, I've used the CC more one, but 
most hemp's will do, as long as it's nicely clean, you don't want all bits of stalk in it and, and dust and crap. So again, obviously this lovely big grains of hemp, and uh, I like to do 48 hours on the hemp also, just to make sure it all cracks. I find 24 hours ain't long enough, you don't get all the cracks. And you know, a hemp, hemp is not as attractive to a carp as a, a bit of split hemp. Uh, well that's, that's my thinking behind it all also. So uh, here we go, 48 hours, hemp, one. You want to make sure it all sinks, cracked hemp don't sink as well. Don't want to be wasting it for the seagulls to get there. Also, the more cracked hemp you got, if you're using oils and additives and stuff, it'll get inside the hemp shell and sink to the bottom of the lake and you're just constantly working for you, isn't it? So right now, we've got three buckets. I'll give them a little stir. We've got buckwheat and wheat and sunflower seeds. Lots of goodness in there. Give it a nice stir around. That's a 50-50 mix, that one. Three cups of each. And uh, this will really swell, this will give me a nice generous portion of particle to be using. And I know I'm going to be fishing hard over the next month or so. We're in August, so, you know, we're hitting the big, big, tail, big girl time coming up soon. Again, in the middle here, the old mixed particle. This has got some hemp in it as well. I think you could never have enough hemp. Kelp, just binge on it and this. It's the, it's the number one. You know, if you had to just use one particle for the rest of your life, it'd be hemp. For me, anyway. So give it a nice stir around in there. Looking carpy, looking carpy. Then hemp. You've got to give your hemp a bit more of a stir about because it, it really does float at the beginning. And again, that's why for me hemp is a must 48 hours. It's much more buoyant than other particles. If I'm putting my hand to the bottom here, there's no hemp on the bottom of the bucket. That's where in the mixed particle, there's lots on the on the bottom. And the same with the buckwheat and the wheat look all on the bottom so uh, yeah so we've got our three buckets and the reason why I don't prepare it all in one is because it doesn't fit into the side saucepan that I like to cook on the barbecue the missus don't let me have it inside the house so I've got a nice one here and I've got a big burn on the barbecue and I'll sit there for an hour one time and I'll get it all done in a few hours and uh, yeah no complaints from the missus so right we'll leave this here I'm going to put these lids on and we'll join back up in 48 hours time. See you soon. Right guys, we're back here 48 hours after and all the particles nicely splitting, especially the hemp. What bits ain't split will split in the cook. And I've got uh, the mixed particle here and all that water's gone lovely and cloudy and, and sweet and Full of starch, which is what you want in that. And over here, you can see behind me, got this simmering away. Got buckwheat and normal wheat, and that's steaming away nicely. I'm going to cook all three buckets in a row. So the hemp, I usually do about 30 minutes. The mixed particle and the buckwheat and the uh, normal wheat, I do about 20. 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes or so. So the hemp does have a little bit longer just to make sure everything's cracked up and that. Extract all that oil and that, get it nice and flavoured. And I keep it pretty simple into these buckets. I had three main ingredients. So into the buckwheat and the wheat and sunflower seeds, I had beetle in, and that's a real nice sweet taste and the carp seem to love it. And then into the mixed particle, I just had a bit of feed stim and that just stimulates the fish to feed a little bit harder. I don't put too much in, just, just enough to give it an extra little kick. And in the hemp, I don't put anything in the hemp. I let the hemp do its thing, but when it's cooling down, when it's nearly cooled down, I'll throw in some rock salt and let it dissolve. And that's it, three simple ingredients for three simple mixes, and uh, it will turn out to be an absolute devastating mix towards the end. So I'm gonna get on with that, and I'm gonna add some goodness to this. So this is, I wait until it's slightly steaming, the wheat and the buckwheat. That's steaming. It's almost at boil now. And I put in two mil for every cup I put in. So in this bucket in the, in the saucepan there, I'm going to put 12 mil. I 
pay it in. Running a bit low as you can see, but we've got that in there 12 mil. I'll stir that in there nicely, you can give it a little sugary edge, not too much. And again, from here, got the feed stem. I don't mind adding this one in cold, just pour a bit into the lid. stem that goes straight in do a little bit more with the feed stem we should do about two and a half maybe three mil per cup so say three mil the beet stem in the mixed particle and uh, get there get it in there and then about two mil of the beetle in, in the wheat. So all right, next time you see me, we'll be uh, mixing this goodness together. I'm on the bank tomorrow, so I can't wait. I've had a long time off. I don't really fish in these hot periods when the fish is spawn and that, I let them recover. And I'll fish pretty hard over the next four months. And as you can see, I'm gonna have plenty of goodness to get out, whether it be pre-baiting or just fishing day, day waters. I'm gonna be able to get out there willy-nilly and to get the job done and hopefully uh, we'll pinch a few fish and get them up for the camera. See you in a bit. Right then guys here we are, we're on the bank. I'm actually at Manor Farm Fisheries. And, uh, particles look good. Oh, couldn't come out any better. Cooking time perfect. And if you do it just like this, it will literally come out fluffy and sludgy like that. Can't ask for much more. Right, so we've got a look, right little concoction we're going to mix up here. I've arrived at Manor Farm about an hour ago. We've got everything else set up. I've let it out, found a few spots. Now it's time to get business and uh, get a bit of bait knocked up. First of all, I do add a lot of boily to my mix, even the particle mixes. I do mix it 50% 50, 50 boily, 50% particle. I am, uh, for obvious reasons, I'm really confident in the baits that we do. And, for those who follow regularly, I don't need to say no more. You see my catch rate and wherever I go, it just happens, doesn't it? You know what I mean? But uh, right, so we're going to get a bit of bait knocked in. First of all, I'm going to do it all by hand. Why not? So in goes the hemp. Look at that. 90% of that is split. I'm happy with that. There's no floating. So a good dose of the hemp. I'm going to put, mix up quite a lot because I found three spots here. I'm only fishing two rods because it's two rod only. I found three spots so I'm going to apply bait to all three spots and just see what happens and uh, play it by ear on that. So a good helping of hemp. Actually I'm going to put a bit of that hemp back. Touch too much there. I like the mix just right so usually about, the pretend the particle mix is 100%, roughly 30% of each. So 30% hemp. Oh, it's so gluppy, look at that. Let's see if you can see on the camera there. That's the buckwheat and wheat and sunflower seed. In goes that 30%. Look at that. It's looking good already. That's about right. Then obviously mixed particle, which has got bits of broken maize in there and oats and Again, a bit of hemp in there, a bit of buckwheat, some, some seeds, I'm not quite sure what they are. You can buy it as a bulk mix. So in goes that, 30%. I'm gonna mix this whole little bucket up that I've got here. I want it filled to the brim. I'm gonna put a lot of bait in here. There's a lot of fish in here. A lot of them are small, because they've bred had a successful year breeding the last couple of years. So uh, I'm fishing particle. I know I'm gonna get bothered by nuisance fish. So I'm gonna put a lot in. I'm going to actually add some more. 
I want this filled to the brim. I'm going to spot out for a good 40 minutes. I'm going to get this swim properly topped up. And then that allows for any nuisance fish. They should fill up pretty quick. Get going, cut the handfuls of each. A bit more hemp. And there is still hemp in the other mixed particles as well. You can never have enough hemp, realistically. It's, it's a winner, isn't it? Uh, so that's just the particles. I would obviously uh, add a few more secret ingredients. One being snail and maybe a bit of chopped muscle. But in here, there's just no point. There's so many rud in here. There is just no point. They'll just take it all. The snails ain't cheap. So for now, we've got that mixed particle. Yeah, let's see if we can get the whole lot up for you. It's looking good, isn't it? looking juicy. I will add a bit more liquid out the buckets a bit later on. Next, I've got a nice bit of crumbs and tiny pieces of boilies in here. That goes straight into the mix. That's the synchronised and total chaos crumbed up there. I want that to soak in the goodness. And then I've got some synchronised and the synchronised is golden. It's krill and crayfish, so the carp absolutely go bonkers for it. I'm just going to split them into some bigger bits here, some halves, so the, the rud and stuff can't take all the nuisance bits. I'm going for a lot of bait here. I'm hoping it will work. I haven't been fishing for a little while, so it might be a bit out of practice, but who knows? We'll be hitting it hard over the next four months. I'll be on the bank most weeks, trying to get them big gals again. And they'll be putting their weight back on now. The thing is about these baits as well, they wash out so easily and they go soft so fast in the lake. And add a few holes in there as well. So I know there's something on the spot. And then top that off. I've got some krill here, just finely crumbled krill. That goes in, that's just an extra attraction. Get that in there. And then I've got some Total Chaos dumbbells here. We're actually starting to make dumbbells, not open to the public yet, but we've got some here. So in they go whole. Again, the rud won't be able to get them. And what I have got, obviously, Quill off my hands. Got some enzyme dumbbells. You've seen them in the last little day session I've done. I absolutely killed it. So again, I brought them. They're all glugged up. I've glugged them and then froze them. I'll show you them now. I will put these in separately. These are really sticky, and I want the glug to stay on them. I washed these out for two hours and then glugged them. So they'll go out. I'll probably put a spawn or two of them out separate. So I'll give that a good mix about. It's looking good. I want this right to the brim, I do. It's looking good. Right. So, I've actually forgot one thing. Now I've got wet hands, I should have thought about this. Here's my pellet, because I'm a big lover of pellet. <coughs> See if I can dip my hands in here without causing too much damage. Big handful of pellet, and these are all different sizes. This is my favorite combination mix. Big ones, little ones, micro pellets, all different flavors in there. One more handful. And they just constantly keep working. Once they suck all this hemp juice in and particle juice, constantly keep working. The same as the boilies do. Now I'll leave this now. Now I've mixed this up, I'll leave it for a good 20 minutes. Let all them pellets soak in some goodness so none of them float. So if you ever thrown some pellets in the edge, a lot of them do float, you know, even the sinking pellets. So now we're like that. Look, I'm nice and gloppy. Look, I'm loving it. Back on the bank. Locked up to the max. 
And that's our finished mix for this session. Obviously, uh, I would tweak it slightly for certain other big fish venues. But for here, that's just how we're going to finish up. And unfortunately for you guys, if you want to see how I got on this session, or if it worked or not, you'll have to wait for the video, the Man of Farm video to come out. It should probably be out four weeks after this. So uh, keep your eye out for that. And uh, I hope you enjoy that video, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is my, my own particle mix. It's not, I'm not saying it's the best. It's my best particle mix, what I'm most confident in. And I've had countless big fish from all over the UK on it. Right, well thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe, follow along and I'll catch you guys on the next one.